Traditional Muay Thai versus modern day striking. Is traditional Muay Thai best for striking? Traditionalists will say absolutely without a doubt. Muay Thai is the best, but Muay Thai goes back a long time and hasn't evolved as many may think. They didn't have things like the internet to share knowledge and the Thais didn't have the option to travel, and so they were limited to certain techniques. In this day and age, we have the option to take the best striking techniques from other martial arts and add them to our Muay Thai system. At Datus Mixed Martial Arts of Philadelphia, they add techniques like the spinning back kick, which, may, which would be considered taboo to many Muay Thai traditionalists. But how about using what works? How about evading strikes instead of walking into them to avoid injury? Slipping punches is also demonized in Muay Thai because you could be potentially kicked in the head. But does that mean that we can't use any head movement? If you want to be the best striker you can be, take Muay Thai and add to it, especially Western style boxing. Western style boxing is known for its beautiful punches and slips. Muay Thai is not. There is a revolution, an evolution of Muay Thai going on right now in America and especially in the Philadelphia area. Muay Thai has evolved into a more complete striking art and you either jump on board or you're going to miss the boat. Traditionalists will be limited and they will not know how to defend the added techniques being implemented to Muay Thai curriculums across the country every day. Just watching the Ultimate Fighter Championships and you'll see Muay Thai being used with effective spinning back fists, spinning elbows, and variations of each. John Jones is a perfect example. John Bones Jones has taken Muay Thai and made it work for his body type and modified it as necessary so he could be the ultimate mixed martial artist. At the end of the day, if you want to be the best fighter you can be, you'll take the time to learn what works and not what worked in the 18th century and before.